Good morning. I want to welcome you to His Word Lives Ministry. My name is David Guthrie, and I'm a preacher called by the Lord to share the gospel out into the world. And we're going to be having a Bible time this morning when we look at the Holy Scriptures in the book of 1 John, and also a prayer time where we want to pray for you and lift up your prayers to Jesus this morning. We'll go ahead and do our Bible time to start with in the book of 1 John chapter 3, verses 7 through 10. We're talking about righteousness. And don't be deceived. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. And we'll be talking about that some this morning. Let's look at the uh, Bible, uh, chapter 3 and verse 7 through 10. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. We're talking about the righteousness of God this morning, and we're called little children by the scriptures here. And I really like that. That that tells me that as being a born-again Christian and believing in Jesus Christ, he considers me his little child. I have a child, and I love my child very much. And I can't even, even grasp the amount of love that God has for his little children. It makes me feel assured inside. It makes me feel joyful inside to know that I'm a little child of God Almighty. And he tells me to not be deceived that a person that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous or even as Jesus is righteous, in that Jesus is perfect and complete, he never sinned, and it's his righteousness that the Christian is, it's his righteousness that we take on spiritually as Christians, and it's his righteousness that enables us to be righteous and do the right things in life. <clears throat> he says, uh, not to be deceived, that he that doeth righteousness is righteous, but also he that committeth the sins is of the devil, and the devil sinneth from the beginning. Satan is not of God, is not of the things of God, and it's sin that separates those that are righteousness and those that are righteous and those that are of the devil. And they sin from the beginning. And this is the reason why Jesus Christ, the Son of God, made himself known to us because he come down and started a ministry and he died on the cross so that a man could be forgiven for their sins and be made righteous through the righteousness of Jesus. And if he asks Jesus to forgive them for their sins, Jesus is just and faithful to forgive that person for their sins, their past sins, their present sins, and any sins that they do in the future. Jesus forgives them and makes them a little child of his. He says that this is the purpose and reason why the Son of God was made known to man. 
in that he could destroy the works of the devil. And the way that he destroys the works of the devil in a person is the person has the ability to be born again, to be born again by having faith and belief in Jesus Christ. And Jesus changes a person <clears throat> in that whosoever that's born of God doth not continue to sin. Yeah, we may sin at times, but through repentance and forgiveness of sin, those sins are forgiven. Those that are born of God do not continue to sin. <clears throat> They're they have a seed inside of them. They have the Holy Spirit of God that's been sent by God the Father on high to live inside of them and give them the strength, the knowledge, and the power to turn from sin in their lives. And they turn to the righteousness of Jesus. They turn to to be obedient unto righteousness and make the right godly choices in their life. <clears throat> because we are born of God and we have the seed of God and rebirth and Holy Spirit inside of us. And this is how we are known as the children of God because it shows out in us that we are followers of righteousness, God's righteousness, and we are righteous doing the right things in our lives. <clears throat> and the scripture says that the children of the devil are also known because of their unrighteousness and sin in their lives. <clears throat> and they do not do the righteousness of God. And do not know God. And also, he that loveth not his brother is not of God. I appreciate that scripture this morning. It makes me feel good inside and joyful to know that I'm something special in the Lord, a child of God that can take on the righteousness of Jesus and have righteous living in my life and make good godly decisions because of who I am and who I know and through him living inside of me through the Holy Spirit. Praise God for he that doeth righteousness is righteous. Amen. <clears throat> Let's just praise God for what he makes possible inside of us through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Let that be our first praise report. I also have a prayer request <clears throat> from Toria Lawson this morning. She wants to pray to God that she lets him be in control. And she also uh, prays for patience in her life. And she also prays for a custody situation that's going on in her life. So let's, let's lift up Toria Lawson to Jesus this morning and pray for her for these things. Erica Law wants to praise the Lord for the blessings in her life, a life full of blessings that have been bestowed upon Erica. And she wants to pray for the world and the things that are going on in the, in the world. And she also wants to pray for this ministry. Thank you so much. And we just thank you for your prayers and best wishes and blessings coming this way. So let's lift up Erica Law in these praises and prayer requests this morning. Elizabeth Parson wants us to pray for her and for blessings. And she also wants to pray for this ministry. And let's just lift up Elizabeth this morning and thank you for those prayers for us this morning. God bless you. Samuel Dabukulu asked prayer for himself 
And let's lift up Samuel to the Lord this morning. Mary Lou Guthrie asked prayer for a friend, Hildred Carpenter. And let's lift up Hildred this morning. And she also asked prayer from some friends of Brenda and Butch Owens, the Anderson family, and their daughter, Miss Beth, that's in ICU. And let's just lift up all of these that's been made mention of Miss Beth and uh, Hildred Carpenter this morning and Mary Lou and Brenda and Butch. Let's just lift them all up to Jesus this morning and pray for these situations. Patty Haynes asked prayer for her mother that's 80 years old. She's having surgery today for an Achilles tendon. And she also asked prayer for herself as Patty's having a spinal epidural tomorrow, Thursday. So let's lift up Patty and her mother to the Lord this morning and pray for them. Sandy Pango wants to praise the Lord for the successful brain surgery operation for her daughter, Leslie. And let's just continue to pray for Leslie and her recovery in the Pango family. I'd like to ask prayer for my daughter, Lindsay Guthrie, who's having her wisdom teeth taken out this morning. And just lift Lindsay up and let this surgery and operation uh, or this teeth, uh, uh, wisdom teeth, uh, all work out and be okay. We just lift up Lindsay to Jesus this morning. Jane Cochran asked prayer for Coley, who, uh, Chloe, who has uh, leukemia. We want to lift this little baby up to the Lord this morning. Now you lift up your prayer request. What's Jesus laid on your heart this morning to pray about to him? He's, he's telling you something. Lift it up and pray to Jesus with us this morning. Dear Jesus, we come to you and lift these people up that have made their prayer requests known to you, God, through this ministry. And we just thank you, Lord, that you sent them this way in their prayers, that we could love them and pray with them and have an opportunity to have loving, faithful fellowship with them. As we lift up their prayers to you this morning, Jesus, please bless and heal and be with the ones in surgeries in need of your special touch. And God, be with the ones that's praying, the viewers that's praying, God, in whatever their needs and, and supplications, God, in praise and thankfulness might be, God. Please do bless and have your will in your way. In Jesus' most precious name, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us this morning. God bless you and have a beautiful day in the name of Jesus. Thank you.